Over the last few days on our walks I've highlighted a lot about flood water and how the rivers burst and the rains and um, you know we've talked haven't we about the impact that's having on the landscape and environmentally and the economic impact of farmers and such but look how mother nature's rewarded these darlings this isn't a pond this is just part of a flooded field and when I've walked past this morning, there's two Canadian geese and this gorgeous duck just swimming away, getting all the bugs and the grubs and having a wonderful time. So they've certainly found some joy in the in what we're calling the devastation, haven't they? morning how are you I hope you're well it's a beautiful morning today and we're up and at it nice and early I am auditioning walks this week <laughs> I'm auditioning walks well, let's stop and have a breather I am at the position now with our walking that um, it has become an important part of my day I'm really, really enjoying it. And that's how it always was. That's not a shock to me that this has happened because this was always such an important part of my day. <clears throat> I particularly enjoy my morning walk. Um, yeah, it really sets me up for the day. But I'm just now at the phase where I'm trying to navigate how I can make this work long term going forward. Um, you know, just things like, do I get up an extra hour early so I can get my kitchen jobs and food jobs done and family life prep and, be, and still enable me time to get out for a walk before work? Um, you know, some days during this challenge I have, I've gone off on my walk during work time and that's been okay. Um, but it's not sustainable long term, you know. Work is work, isn't it? And I can't just dip out for an hour and a half filming. Um, I mean, sometimes can, but not always. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out a sustainable way to allow me the time to make this a start of my day routine. We are walking today on a disused railway line and I do like this walk. It's, I do, yeah, I do like it, but you've got to have the right boots on. I can't do this walk in my flip flops because these stones are quite hard on the feet. It's amazing, you know, the last couple of days I've got a kidney infection, so walking has been, um, uncomfortable at times but I have done my challenge I have done my walk but um, it has very much been you know three quarters of a mile here and a mile there just strolling around the estate with my dad really so there's been nothing of note to show you and, and to be honest dad's needed to offload a bit you know my mum's got some ongoing health issues and Dad's feeling the pain, bless him. 
so it's been nice just to get out and walk with dad and just to let him you know voice some worries and woes and that's been nice but in those couple of days the difference to the cow parsley particularly how we started with just a couple of buds and now we've got quite big fronds and flowery bloom which is lovely hang on Jeff oh he's really pulling me I wonder if he doesn't like it on here twice this morning we have just casually walked past a couple of dog owners and Jeff's been brilliant but so have I <laughs> you know I've been relaxed I've been in control um yeah when we were on a little skinny path I just sit down, I sat in front of him to be a barrier between him and the other dog while they walk past. And then the other time today, we just, I put him on a short lead and we just carried on walking. And the reason I'm telling you this is because in the far distance on this railway line, I can see a lady come in with her dog and I'm nervous. I've been warned on here there is a lady with a border collie and it's never on a lead and all you ever hear is don't worry it's friendly and it comes charging up the line um, absolutely zero recall um, yeah and I, I knew of that when I came on here and it's the reason I haven't been on here for what, about 12 months I don't know if it's her. She might even have a, I don't know, a sausage dog for all I know and can see at this distance. But I'm nervous. I'm trying really hard now not to pick Jeff up when we pass people. But if I see her and a collie, I will definitely be picking him up. I'll report back. Ooh, I feel really nervous. I haven't felt nervous on a walk now for ages. Right, come on. Link arms, friends. I'm catastrophizing because the chances are it's not her and nothing at all is going to happen. Well, nothing is going to happen because if I see some beast running at me, I'll drop you on the floor and scoop my boy up. So, great. Link arms, come on, let's go. Best foot forward. Oh, come stride him purpose and confidence. Fake it till you make it, right? Oh, she's gone. <laughs> she's not there. Perhaps she saw Big Bad Jeff has come in and she's legged it. Perhaps she's scared of us. Perhaps it was a mirage. I haven't had a drink yet this morning, which is naughty with a kidney infection, I know, but there we go. She's gone. Lovely. The gorse bushes are just starting to come into their first flower, which is always a sign of warmer days to come, isn't it? I don't think it would be an April walk without featuring our dear friend the mud. <laughs> would it? to reinstate it as a working line so we won't be able to walk it 
once that happens, obviously. There's no man management of the line at all. Uh, well, as far as I know, it's just been left to go to nature. And whilst it isn't pretty, there, you know, Mother Nature's an incredible woman, isn't she? When left to her own devices, she does produce some phenomenal artwork. And that's certainly what she's done here. So many plants have been just wild, have just naturalised in the wild. Um, some plants that you see at the garden centre that are usually like garish purples and bright yellows in their natural form are really creamy and pretty. Things like the gorse bush is on here. Lots of cow parsley. Bluebells. I even see wild strawberries actually. Um, there's quite a lot of wild strawberries on here. And they're tiny little alpine strawberries, I think some people call them. I'd never pick them on here because it's such um such a well travelling path with dog walk it's it just amazes me that if you just give nature its own space, what it achieves. are the original railway well I don't know sleepers because they're concrete but they're the part of the original track that was here when they closed the line and they've always just stayed there I mean they're covered in brambles and things look and moss and again how nature has taken over given half the chance and I just think they're utterly beautiful can you imagine the creatures that are living amongst there it must be vast mustn't it must be home to so many creatures. It's almost sad really that they're reinstating the line to some respect, but you know, that's progress, isn't it? And I wonder if they'll reuse these. I hope so. I hope so. I don't think it's gonna be some years before the line's open because it's been, um, I think it's been done by some sort of trust of the railway. So it's fundraising I imagine. Anyway, we're not far off home now. It's been lovely. I don't want to close this video off without giving a few words of thank yous. Um, when I started this in April it was very much a personal challenge. I've, I've explained all that before. It was overcoming anxiety. It was overcoming this block, this mental block had built up about walking Jeff um, off the estate and things. And, you know, there was an element of wanting to re-improve my health and fitness, well-being, all that sort of thing. But never in a million years when I started this did I imagine that people would find joy in watching a fat middle-aged woman puffing around the countryside for a couple of hours. And yet you have. And... Thank you, thank you so much. I was so nervous to film it. Not because, uh, it, you've just all accepted me completely and thoroughly for who I am without judgment, without criticism and comment. And it's just been beautiful. So thank you, thank you for that. And I get so many messages a day and emails and comments here and on Instagram and I've swapped numbers with a couple of people and um, they're embarking on their own walking adventures and it's been beautiful. It's been such an inspiring and empowering place to be and to hear your stories and to share life with you. It's just been beautiful. So thank you. Thank you so, so much. And on the fundraising terms, we're up to £630. Yay! Go us! Go you! Go me! Again, surpassed any, 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 any notion at all. It's just, yeah, you've just embraced this. You've embraced me 
and you've embraced our adventure so thank you thank you so much